um, my husband just called me. He's at the hospital with her. She can't do the surgery today. They can't do the surgery on her today due to the fact that um, she uh, this the surgery that she did on Friday to remove the blood clot that's in her chest area and around her organs, which is her chest area. Yes, of course. Um, they put a, a, a catheter inside of her, her valve or whatever to send the medication to her heart and to, 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 to do all of that fancy stuff that they do for people who they put down into coma incubation, whatever that is. Um, so he said they can't do remove the catheter because her valves or her, her, her heart valves they're not opened up the way it should for the, for them to remove it. So or she's 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 not getting worse. She's just not getting better yet. But keep our fingers crossed, hope and pray. And I'm I'm being strong here. I'm trying to be strong here for my daughter because she need me to be strong for her and everything and um um yes I, I i know people are praying um for her and please continue to pray and um yeah she 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 they they can't do the surgery today to remove the the the, the catheter because her, her her valve or heart valve whatever all of those veins are that's supposed to open they're not opening up uh, so um she needs more time in the coma to make let her body heal so today's out of it no surgery so i i was hoping and praying that i could he could put the phone by her ears and i could call her name or she could muffle something to me if she had done the surgery or something i know she would be in excruciated pain and all of that but i just want to hear my baby's voice and um, she's 17 and she's going through a lot yeah all of us are going through our own thing we have our own demons we are fighting um i i understand that we all have our um baggages that we are carrying you know and um i'm 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 100 happy my husband is a doctor because i i don't know if um booth memorial hospital could have helped her so she get transferred to to um columbia um presbyterian hospital and he said one of the best surgeons she has, and it's a very good hospital. So I, 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 I'm grateful for that, and I, 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 I know she's in good hand because, I mean, Dr. Michael Jumper is her daddy, you know. So um, I just hope and pray that God will guide the surgeons, them, and that they will do the best they can to save my baby girl. And... Um, <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just shaking uh, after he called me, you know, and uh, uh, all the supports are pouring out to me. I'm getting WhatsApp messages. I'm getting Facebook messages. I went on Facebook Live for a few minutes to, to update um, people on Facebook because I, I, I post on Facebook as well. And um, I just want to thank you all for your support and everything um i don't know if it's love but for your support because whatever um yeah sorry i still have that little attitude shit going on sorry but um i just want to thank you all for your love and support and your kind words towards my daughter and um she she she's a beautiful she has a beautiful soul she's a beautiful human being she's 17 she has not lived a life yet she don't even start dating yet so you know why did i even say that it doesn't matter um but it is what it is um this covid is a mother stunker you know it 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 we need this covid to go away um we need to continue to wear a mask and um protect ourselves wash our hands and um when you coming from the streets supermarket wherever you are wash your hand change your clothes before you hug your loved ones 
and just do the right thing please do the right thing because my 17 year old is 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 severely severely ill and i wouldn't want this on anyone else you know it's it's a tough situation and and for a mother to feel this way which thousands hundreds and thousands of mothers are going through this right now Husband, hundreds and thousands of parents are going through this right now um because it's not just me alone it's um <clears throat> it's a lot of people going through this so if i should say it's me alone i'll be selfish and uh, and be inconsiderate so i want to thank everyone for your love and support okay and um continue to pray for my daughter please continue to pray for my daughter so it's sunday evening uh after four and i just talked to michael again and he said she is stable but still in the coma that they put her in right she's stable so i have him explain stuff to me i was jacking down but sometimes i don't know what my i jacked on myself so when she had surgery she lost a lot of blood he said didn't tell me how much blood he said she lost a lot of blood but they gave her four units of blood and he talked to her he told her that mommy is 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 um love her and mommy is worried about her and grandma love her and her siblings love her you know and she shakes she moves her heart rate goes up to about 110 he said or something like that so he said she was shaking and he didn't want her to move or shake so he told her that we all loved her and that we care for her and she's gonna be good and better and stuff and he don't want her to worry about anything that's going on and you know how you talk to your kids in their ears and stuff and she moves in and stuff and he's at stop because she was moving too much and she shouldn't move that's why they put her into that state that she's in so her body could heal but she can hear you she can actually hear you which is good um, he couldn't use his phone in there, so he couldn't call me so that I could call her. And this is a stupid, stupid thing, but I understand because she's on um, all of those strings. He said she's so stringed up, like he he was like, there's so much strings on her. It, it's, it just looked bad and stuff, but he knows it's to save her. But he, He didn't take the picture because he didn't want me to see her like that but yeah I asked him if he ever see anyone any patients like that he said he's not into that feel so I know he's not into that feel you know but uh, when you go to be pregnant uh, when you go to deliver the baby you know they put the thing on your stomach and you have the thing on your hand and an IV IV and uh and a uh, um thingy that they put in the back that's it nothing not all that stuff you know so he knowing that that's your child right there string up with dozens of strings you know because she has to have the art monitor on her she has to have all of those stuff on her but he says she's scheduled for the surgery tomorrow so tomorrow before I hear anything else from him hopefully if anything changes for the best 